We're back with more Your Kentuckiana Home, and I'm with Greg Morris with Window World of Louisville. Thanks for joining us again. Thank you. So you guys are known for windows, but you also have other product lines. We do. Uh, the number one thing that we have besides windows are siding products, which is a, a great accent to anything you're doing on your home. And you have lots of different types to choose from and colors. We do. We have uh, a wide variety of colors, you know, up to 25 different colors for vinyl siding and different styles, which is like a four inch Dutch lap, a four inch uh, uh, conventional and a five inch. And what does that mean to the consumer? You have some samples here. And when you're talking about uh, a double four, you're just talking about the profile right here. It doesn't have very much design. It gives it the look of wood. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people want to keep that real wood look, you know, uh, with vinyl siding. So you got a double four, which is a four inch profile, double five, which is a five inch, and it gets just a little bit bigger, you know, if you want to go that, that style. And this has the foam behind it already there. It, it does. This is a drop-in foam, so actually you peel the foam, uh, the vinyl siding back, drop in the foam behind it. But we also have what we call our 6000 series, which already has the glued on foam to the siding. So it's just one installation. And this is the best one to get, right? It just gives you a better insulating factor, okay? So, and, and it comes with a larger profile. So, which is good. A lot of people, this is a seven inch profile and it really gives it that real cedar wood look to a home. One of the reasons the foam is important is let's just say I get all new windows on my home. So I think my house is insulated, but it's not because I have odor siding that does not have the foam backing. That's correct. A lot of the contractors put a, a Tyvek paper behind it and they don't insulate and they just put the siding over top of the Tyvek paper, then it's, which is right on top of the wood. So uh, with our insulation, you know, there's different foam applications you can do. There's a fan fold, which is about a quarter inch thick, or you can move up to an upgrade into one of these foam backed vinyl siding. So you're aesthetically, your house is going to look updated and you're going to save money on energy costs at the same time. Definitely. You know, again, you know, a lot of people replace their windows, but are your walls very insulated? You know, uh, you put this type of insulation on with the vinyl siding, you could save up to 20, 30% on your heating and cooling costs. And that's a lot now. It is a lot. Energy keeps coming up. So we want to save as much money as possible. If someone's interested in having you come out and give them an estimate, how do they contact you? Yeah, just give us a call at, uh, and one of the girls will set up one of our qualified estimators to come out. They'll take a look, measure it up, show you many different designs. They can actually hook up their laptop, take a picture of your house, and put the vinyl siding colors on there so you can pick it right straight from the computer. Wow, so you're going to know what it's going to look like before you even leave the house. 100%. Why would someone replace their vinyl siding? Well, many years ago, uh, the contractor grade siding is not as thick and they didn't put the sunblock into it that we have today. So a lot of people would have fading, you know, one side of the house might be lighter or darker depending on how their house weathered and so on. But nowadays they put so much sunblock into these and things like that. And we call it sunblock because that's what it does, but it won't fade. It has a fade resistant um, texture to it and colors and so on. So it stays consistent around the house. And then the weather also deteriorates it over time. It does. It becomes brittle. I, I, many people have mowed their grass and rock shoots and they got a big hole in their siding and they call us up and we come out and give them an estimate for it. And with this, I mean, it's going to last for a long time. Mm -hmm. It does. You know, especially when you do a foam based here, it's very hard for anything to penetrate this and, and to bust a siding. It, it's very hard. So even over years time with the foam behind it, it's very hard to you know, be puncture resistant and stuff like that, so. And one of the nice things you were telling me off camera is this is weather resistant. Uh, yeah, it resists wind speeds up to 190 miles an hour. That's really nice, especially here where we have tornadoes a lot. Mm -hmm, definitely, and I, I've had certain situations where we've had the hail storms and such. We used a foam backed vinyl siding. A lot of people around their neighbors uh, were changing their vinyl siding out. My customers weren't, didn't even penetrate. The siding uh, was never affected by the hail storm. Well, thank you so much for teaching us about siding today. We really appreciate it. We'll be back with more Your Kentucky at a Home in just a moment. Thanks for tuning in to Your Kentucky at a Home. Come back next week for more beautiful homes. Thank you for watching Your Kentucky Anna Home. Join us next week for another episode of Your Kentucky Anna Home, brought to you by Window World.